Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Jada and I'm back with you with the best video. And today I'm gonna be doing a girl talk video with my girl Sayara featuring Nyla. So I wrote all the questions down and I just took a picture of them. It was on my iPad and we're gonna pass the iPad back and forth and answer these questions. So let's get right into this video. Mm -hmm. All right, first question. Okay. How do we feel about cheating? It's oh, dumb. Oh, oh, okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna, okay. Go ahead. Honestly, I'm gonna say it's dumb and it's childish. It's very immature. At your big way, age, why are you still cheating? Exactly. If you're gonna be in a relationship, what are you cheating for? Like, if you know you're gonna cheat, don't be in a relationship. Just, just don't, don't get you. in a relationship. Just, just don't, don't get in a relationship. Wife. Like, what, don't, don't get, get in a relationship. It. I think cheating is really dumb, pointless, and childish. Like, I feel like if you're gonna cheat, it's no point of cheating. Like, it's really no point of cheating. Like, it's not even an if you're going to. Don't cheat. Like, just don't get in a relationship. Just stay single. You're cheating for what? Like, it's pointless, it's dumb, and you're not getting nowhere with that. All right. You go. That's okay. it. Don't yeah. cheat. If you're going to cheat, don't be in a relationship. Point blank. Next. <laughs> what is girl code? Honestly, it's no really right or wrong answer to this, but I'm going to say this. If you're going to have a friend group or a friend, a female friend at that, be honest with her. Be loyal. That sounds, don't say it sounds gay because people be tripping. But be loyal. Like, if you want to, you know what I'm saying, be her friend, at least let her, show her that she can trust you. What? Rather than secret, leaving stuff around as far as money, clothes, mm -hmm. whatever. And l at least let her know that you're not going to steal from her. You know what I'm saying? Be honest with her. And, like, if it's something that she does make, that she do that's making you feel some type of way, communicate that with her. Don't go and be weird and talk about her behind her back to somebody else. Don't do that. That is so weird. First of all, girl code to me, I believe in girl code. Like, I'm big on girl code. I'm, like, a girl's girl for sure, for sure, hands down. So, I feel like girl code is honesty, mm -hmm. communication. Definitely. It's more so, like... Just trust, literally trust. Yeah, trust is the big so, part. It plays a big part. A real big part, and I feel like girl code is like if we got something going on, let's talk it out. Like we right. old enough, we grown enough, let's talk it out. That's like that's just communication. Like I said, trust comes with like me being able to like know like you're not going behind my back talking about me. You're not being fifty. You're not being two faced. You're not doing like, nothing. Yeah, I didn't tell her some stuff. And it still have yet to get out yet. I'm not going around telling nobody. <laughs> nobody. None if of you don't want nobody to know, then like leave it. Leave it at that. Like leave it. And I and I'm big on this. Like yeah, my friend can have her. Like it's okay. This little thing where everybody be like, be passing it. Like no, none of that. We're, we're not passing. Passing. We don't do that over here. We're not we're passing. Not don't passing do that. Like, uh -uh. Not that's at all. Nasty. That's nasty. Be, yeah, like, I don't share them. I don't want none of my friends. I don't want them. I wouldn't want her talking to my ex or my baby father. Or, exactly. Like, that's that's just, we don't do that over there. Yeah, keep that keep, little bit. Keep that, keep that over, there, over, there. over there. <laughs> no, really, though. Next question. How do you feel about being alone? I'll right. answer the first. Yeah. All right. I feel like sometimes you need to be alone. Like, yeah. you don't always have to rely on somebody, depend on somebody. You don't always have to lean back on somebody. I feel like you, I feel like being independent makes you a better person honestly i really Definitely. just feel like being independent builds you up being independent you makes confidence. you strong like it builds your confidence literally like, like for sure for sure hands down being alone sometimes you just need that you don't always need to be around a nigga or a girl literally you don't always have to be around them like all the society sometimes you just need to be by yourself because i'm not gonna lie to y'all i like i kid y'all not i've been at home for the last three, no maybe three weeks almost four weeks straight. like i have not went outside it typically, I go outside every weekend. I have not been outside. I didn't have the baby, like, for the last few weeks. I mean, yeah, that's my child, but typically I get a break. But the weekend I was get, supposed to get my breaks, I was telling them, no, I'll keep her. I'd rather be in the house by myself. Like, I just been, I, like, I'm not going to lie to you. I've really been, I wouldn't call it isolating myself in the house a lot more, but... I just rather not be around people because I need to focus on me, myself, right. my child, school. Because I graduated this year. Exactly. I ain't got time for nobody's nonsense. I I got to work on the shape. Not only for me, but for my child. Right. So like people come with a know. lot of drama. Like, people yeah. come with a lot of drama. People come with mm -hmm. a lot of problems. People come with a lot of... 
all people come with a different things and when you hang around a lot of people you tend to like reflect on how they feel and then you start feeling how they feel and you start piggybacking on how they feel i feel like you should just sometimes you just need to be alone take some couple weekends by yourself for sure do all that by yourself like go do like go get your nails done your hair done your hair cut whatever you know what i'm saying just right. be by yourself like a me day exactly there you go you came in this world by yourself. alone you're gonna leave alone. you're gonna leave alone you're not gonna leave with like you don't people. need nobody you don't honestly, as long as you got yourself that's all you really need exactly honestly, honestly. Leave it at that. keep that keep keep that over there right next question tips on getting over somebody oh let me tell y'all something okay <laughs> because i y'all i had to learn how to get oh over her God. father y'all it took, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. It took him a minute to get over this boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a minute to get over him. But I'm gonna say this like, if you if you first out of a relationship, block him or her on everything. And yeah, I'm gonna lose say that. Connection, like, like, lose all connection. Lose connection. If y'all go to the same school, try to avoid seeing the person, seeing any, like, if you was close to their siblings, their mom, anybody that they hang with, associate with. Put associate with them. Cut it. Because then it's going to make you miss that person. Then it's going to be, oh, well, I want this person back. Yeah, Just cut that. cut ties with anybody they associated with that you know that you know for sure. Cut all ties with them. Cut, cut all ties with that person. Go outside. Go to a party. Go out there. Yeah. Then go do something. But don't associate yourself with your exes or somebody Peers. that you did with. Yeah, none of that. Yeah. Like, I honestly, like, getting over somebody, I feel like you, in order to get over somebody, you have to do something you like or you love to, like, get your mind off of it. Because you really, if you really like that person, you're going to keep thinking about the person, keep thinking about the person. And if you're not doing that thing, that's just going to, that's going to play on your mind all day. Definitely. So you really need to, like she said, lose connection with the person. Don't talk to the person. Don't contact anything. All type of contact, cut it, literally. And then also... You need to just do something you love. Like, do something that's going to that's take your mind. You happy. Exactly. Because you, if you just sit back and keep reflecting on where y'all went wrong. You or get depressed y'all go, Exactly. Yeah, depression is real. It's just going to sure. keep playing back. And then you might just end up texting them. Like, like, yeah, I miss you. Yeah, just, the same bad habits is going to come back. And that's exactly. not what you want in your life. Just cut it. Just cut it, honestly. Yeah. Okay. Right. Next. Hygiene tips. Yeah. All right. So, I can't really give y'all too much for the boys. Because... Me and the boys don't do the same thing. Not at all. But what I can say is shave, deodorant, and brush your teeth. Use a little bit of cologne. And that's really all I can say. Get your head cuts. Keep yourself up. up and yeah. I say get your manicure and pedicure. I do say get your toes. I'm just saying this, make sure your pH cut. balance is not off. Exactly. Because... You're and get your toes done, y'all. Come on, get your nails and toes done. I don't care. Yeah. First of all, my nails is looking like this because first of all, I haven't wanted it was this a long story, but we're not even gonna get into that. But, but keep boy if you're a boy, keep your nails done. Keep I think nails that is so attractive. Cut down. Make sure there's no dirt under your nails. That's very disgusting. It's very unattractive. Keep that dirty sh over there. And you hear me? First of all, if me and you're together and I go to the nail spot, I'm dragging you along with me. I don't care how you exactly. feel about it. You're going with me. Exactly. No, and no, a haircut is like, Madison. I feel like Madison. a haircut is not like, I feel like you can keep a haircut or keep your head down. I like boys with hair. So I love a boy with some hair. Yeah. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> Like, oh, mm, keep I'm sorry. your hair down. But they say them dreadheads with the back. I'm sorry. Oh, not the dreadhead. I ain't with that. Yeah, she's not with the dreadhead. Hair. She not with the just. But I'm saying that's what they say. I used to deal with a dreadhead, so. Oh. <laughs> oh who? Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 For no real, y'all. Stop. No name. We're not name dropping. For real. Let's get into People these don't girls. Talk about though. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's get into these girls for real, though. For real. Because. These girls be a little musty, and it's, it shouldn't be that. All right, y'all. So, first of all, let's start with the deodorant, y'all. Mm -hmm. I say you use any type of deodorant. If your un underarms are a little strong, use men's. It does yeah. not matter. Use some type of deodorant, strong deodorant, that's going to keep you right. Like, We're all different, so I can't be like, oh, yeah, use Dove. Yeah, I'm not saying everybody. Right. You can't say everybody use Dove. Exactly. Or everybody use men's, because everybody's not like everybody. That's what I'm saying. Use whatever fits you. Yeah. Um, I recommend Dove soap for anybody. I'm like, not saying, now, if you got a sensitive body, use Dove sensitive. Exactly. Exactly, but Dove hands down is good. Yes. I know other soaps is good too, but I, I use people, Dove. I heard people use Irish Spring. I, me I personally, use I use Dove because I got a sensitive skin, so I use Dove sensitive. Yeah, I use Dove. I use sen I mean, no, yeah, I use sensitive skin, but the bar. Yeah. And then I use um, I like the little pampering one, and mm -hmm. that's in the body wash. I like that. Mm -hmm. But you can get whatever. I say, girls, brush your teeth. I don't give a. I don't care. Brush your teeth in the morning and at night. 
I don't care. I have I braces, don't... so I have a different. If you have braces, use a water pick. It's different. We have like she's different, so she don't use a water. You use water pick. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I got she one can use a water pick. Well, you I can use the, a water pick with or without braces, but right? But it's really like if you have braces, you. use the use that water pick, and then um your hair. Keep your hair like. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> Listen, look at my you hair. You see right my now. hair? My sh my stuff a little my stuff. Mine's is a little crazy but, because I got her. But but if you got the money, pay to get your hair done. If you cannot um do a little bun. Or you cannot afford to pay to get your hair done. You better learn. learn you better learn how to do your hair. It's just it's that simple. Just learn. Listen, Watch go YouTube, YouTube might have TikTok, said, anything. Learn Google, Safari, whatever. Learn how to do your own stuff, Pretty so much. you don't have to pay for nobody else. What else? Clothes. You can wear whatever. No, you can go on Sheen and find the cute stuff for the low. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm sorry, <laughs> but. <laughs> She I don't some... shop on Shein. I shop on Fashion Nova. I'm a yeah, fashion, fashion Yeah. Like, my bad, y'all. The camera turned off. I mean, the phone turned off. <laughs> like I was saying. But, yeah, I'm a Fashion Nova girly. I don't really do too oh, much of the other stuff. But, yeah. Brushing your teeth, deodorant, dove, um, shaving, waxing, yeah, shaving, all that type of stuff. Shaving, waxing, either oil. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's girl. girl. Get your nails done. Get your head on. That's it. Get your, keep your toes done. Next question. How to gain confidence in parentheses tips slash personal story. Because <laughs> I had to think about what I was about to say, so go for a second. Okay, so yeah. honestly, my confidence was down here. Like, when I tell you, my confidence was really, really low. And it just took me, like, being around other people. Honestly, to be completely honest, me personally, it took me to actually being around, being around other people, seeing how much they love their self, to be like, dang, like, I'm pretty too. too. Like, like, I got this and I got that. Like, not even trying to compare yourself. Do not compare yourself. But like, just to see, just like knowing, like, what am I really like doubting myself for? I'm not ugly. I got right. this. I got that. I mean, even if you're you know ugly, <laughs> no, no, no. How to get so, confident? Even if you feel like you're ugly, always remember you're not ugly. That's right, what I was right. trying to like, say. It's so a lot of hideous people in this world. You're not one of them. Just remember that. <laughs> if anybody calls you ugly, you know what you tell them. Your mother. Sorry, don't, don't say, say that. that. <laughs> if anybody calls you ugly or tell you that you look like an animal or a troll, whatever, tell them I'm not ugly. I got high self esteem. Just tell them that. No, keep say, your say, your say your mother. Say your mother. Say your mother. Say your mother's ugly. Don't say your mother's like, ugly. No, but don't no, hurt somebody's no. feelings. You don't do that. But for real, doing stuff that you like, like getting your hair done, keeping your nails up, keeping staying in high class would definitely help you with your confidence hands down if you walk around looking like a bum all the time your confidence gonna be a bum look bum levels like you know what i'm saying but next question period okay so honestly a period is gonna happen if you're a girl it's gonna happen regardless if you're young old it doesn't matter so, but i just say be prepared keep pads on you keep wipes on you keep Tampons, on tampons, use, tampons on whatever you use, keep it on you just to yeah. be prepared because you never know what may happen. You mm -hmm. never know. Keep extra underwears on yeah, you. Sure. Keep a little kit on you. Yeah, some, some pills. For like um, the Tylenol, pain, Tylenol, Tylenol ibuprofen. Keep all that on you. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, because you never know when that's going to happen. Yeah, My no, period I'm started when I was about to go on a field trip. So, <laughs> so you never know when that shit, oh, when that's going to happen. My just started, keep it. I don't even know. No, it's crazy. My started the day I was going to school. I was in the house getting dressed, and my started. I had to use the bathroom, and I was like, "I'm so happy I was at home." So I had to hurry up and get a shower or whatever the kids. I was real about to go on a field trip. Got I was real about to go on a field trip. Went in the bathroom, pee, pissed, and was like, "Oh, okay, you yeah, wanna come today, I exactly." Right. Okay. But I already knew because my mother previously had conversations with me about it. Um. Next oh. <laughs> question: How do we feel about sex slash? Losing your virginity tips. Wait, wait. Pause, pause. <laughs> wait, just wait, y'all. Let me say this about part, the part on losing your virginity. Make sure it's with somebody that you trust and you feel comfortable with. Don't rush it, y'all. Do not rush it, y'all. Don't rush it. Y'all, I lost mine when I was. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. Don't 16. tell them. That's none of their business. I don't care. I was 16, but I was about to be 17. Those I'm with it wasn't. It's not like I was being fast nothing. Y'all, I lost my with this one person. I lost, obviously, it was with one person, but I let this one person take my virginity, y'all. Me and him still have communication today, till this day. Like, 
he'll text to check up on me stuff like that but make sure it's with somebody that you trust yeah i said you feel wait. comfortable around but please wait I don't rush wait it. if you're 12 or 13 don't be out here thinking don't, don't do it y'all it's really not worth it i feel it's like not. you rushing in you're Sex not gonna get you're really at all you're not gonna get what you want out of it all right my bad y'all i had to switch phones but like i was saying you're not gonna get what you want out of not it at all. it's want to be like your first time so it's gonna be like you're gonna be nervous you're gonna be real scared you're gonna be real tensed up it's gonna be it's not gonna be what you expect it's all. not like so just keep it wait till i'm wait gonna till, say wait till you get married well, whenever you're ready wait till you're ready wait till to the person you feel like you. you're ready to do those activities and once those again, activities come with a lot of things yeah, and once a, first of all don't stop <laughs> once, once again do it with somebody that you trust and you feel comfortable around <laughs> Jada, don't start your name with you, okay? <laughs> Y'all, do oh, those things does not come with this, I promise. Yes, it does. <laughs> no, oh, she came if from the you sky. you want to end up with she one came from the sky. She came Keep from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> but no, y'all, it's use protection. Use yeah, protection. for sure. Condoms. Condoms. Please use do. it. Don't use it. Yeah. All right, next. How do you feel about second chances? Depending on how bad, depending on the reason that you and the person broke up the first time, that'll determine if I'm going to give you another chance, honestly. And I'm going to just keep it like that. Like, if you out here cheating or doing you, don't think you get another chance of me. But if it was over some petty, small stuff like, oh, you didn't text me back today, so I'm done with you. Or you didn't text me back 20 minutes ago, I'm done with you. I'll give That's you childish. That's childish. We're too old for that. Literally. But Let's I know keep people. this stuff at our age. Um, second chances, honestly, I give second chances. I'm, I'm not even, oh, I'm know. not even ready to play like I know. Oh, I know. give second chances. Give second, third, fourth, I do. Chances. And that's my man. No, and I'm gonna stick behind she's it. She's gonna give this but, man second, <laughs> third, fourth, fifth, and sixth chances. No, if that I could was too, a chance. If I could, so I would, but only second chance, not third, fourth, fifth, sixth. I'm not <gasps> giving him. Only second. No. no. Nick <laughs> gives 30 chances. Not me. <laughs> not you, can't me. Say, you can't name how. <laughs> don't say the name, though. But you can't say how. I can say. Y'all know go. Who are you talking about? This? You would. You would. Not with the. No. Yes, you would. <laughs> y'all. Y'all. Second chances. Honestly, y'all. I just feel like it depends on what happened. What was the reason that y'all broke up? Or what was the reason that. It led to whatever is about to go on. If it wasn't bad, get back to get me. Pretty if it much. was bad, like he didn't did some crazy stuff, she didn't did some crazy stuff. Cut that short, cause that's just them showing their true colors, and you just gonna keep getting that same thing in different forms. But that's that's all I can say about that. I don't know. Pretty much, it's, if they didn't do nothing crazy, give them a second chance. They did move along. Next, that's, that's just how what, it is. It depends on what, what they, they did. did. Yeah. And if you find out some stuff after, y'all do another. After you better go stuff, back. Say that shit again. Double back and just say, yeah, you gotta go. And leave exactly. It leave that. Back. Next question. Ooh. What do we prefer? Shaving or waxing? Waxing. And I'm gonna tell you why. Waxing, you only can get it done once a month. When you shave, you get a little cactus out there. Okay, y'all. So for me, I. So I do swim. So I need to get waxed, but. I just never, like, I'm actually really scared of getting waxed. So, shaving, like, I'm I'm sorry. I might be a little punk, but I am scared of getting waxed. <laughs> but I do want to try it, and which I'm going to do go this together. summer. Yeah, I'm going to do go that together. this summer. That sounds good. I'm going to do summer. <laughs> I'm going to do waxing, but shaving, y'all. I feel like shaving, you do not do all the time. You need to get yeah. a good razor, and you need to get shaving cream or shaving foam. I use shaving cream. It mm -hmm. just works better for me. But shaving do whatever do, works best for you. Bro. Literally, honestly, that's all you can really say. But I really say try waxing, y'all. Try waxing. If you're young, use a. I say shave your underarms for sure and wax down there. Yeah. But but if you're young and you're a first time to shave, don't get a wax because yeah, you're not no. gonna know what it feel like. It's gonna hurt. You're not gonna yeah. know what to expect, and it come with a lot of stuff like not maintenance, but it come with a lot of stuff after you get the wax. It's not just right. okay. I get a wax. I'm done. No, it's none of that. Right, yeah, and shaving costs razor bumps and all that, so I feel like it's iffy. It just it's, it's iffy, up to but you. it just all depends on what you want to do. Right. Like I can't say, yeah, go get a wax. Right, like I do what you, you want to do. do. Don't let nobody do. else control you. Don't though. let nobody control what you do with your body. Point right. blank. Next, how do we feel about high school? And what are some tips? Mind your business. Mind mm -hmm. your business. Stay out the drama. Stay 
out the way. Stay down. Get your work done. Mm -hmm. You're don't gonna be in the hallways. Exactly. Don't be in the hallways. You're going in high school by yourself. You're gonna leave by yourself. Nobody else is gonna help you get that diploma. Nobody else is gonna help you graduate. Nobody else is gonna help you get that work done for real, for real. But them teachers. So Pretty much. get close with your teachers. I'm not saying call them at night, but I'm just saying get close with them. Like, Pretty much like have, have a have, have a good, good bond. bond for sure. Have a good bond with the teachers because. Me, like, when I got pregnant with her, short story, when I got pregnant with her, I had to, you know what I'm saying, have a good ball with my teacher so they can understand, listen, I got a baby on the way. I got, like, it's a lot. Like, right. I was going to school pregnant. I was throwing up every morning and everything. It was bad. But they were able to understand. And now look at me. Graduating this year. What's wrong? Hello. Graduating in May 2024. Yeah. Don't play. Oops, sorry, Donna. Okay, now. Is <laughs> she looking like? <laughs> no, real. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's just that. Okay. Next um, question. What's your opinion on birth control? Optional mandatory. If you don't want this, get on birth control. Point no, y'all, no, no. I'm not I'm, with it. I'm sorry. I'm not with it. I say I say birth control comes with a lot of You can gain weight. Or lose a lot. Yeah. It depends on which your I body. prefer to use the, 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 I think it's called a UD, a UID, UDI, one or two. I can't remember. Get the one that goes in your vagina. So I say, honestly, if you're doing, and of course, if you're doing that, yes, get birth control. Like, hands down, get it. If my rubber band is broke, <laughs> uh, if you're not, then I say, hold on. So if you're having intercourse a lot, I say get on birth control. If you're not and you're just doing it here and there or you just want to stop your periods or whatever. Yeah. But don't. not all birth control stop your periods. Some birth control, you still have a period, but it don't come. It don't stay on as long. Like if you have a period for like a week. When you get on birth control, you can have it for three days. Two, you can even have it for a day, literally. Yeah, I don't know, y'all. I just say it's really up to you. And if you're young, your mother, your father, whoever you stay with, your auntie, don't matter, grandma. It's up to y'all, honestly. Just do whatever's best for you. Sorry, I'm texting my dad. Um, all right, I'll read the next one. Yeah. Tips for good mental health. Um, honestly, do what you like. Do what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. Keep your hair nails done. Keep your Keep the people that makes you happy around you. Don't keep no fakies around you. Nope. Cut everybody off that's not benefiting to you. Like, do what's going to make you happy. Do what's good for you. Don't worry about other people. Um, Yeah, that's that's really all I can say. I don't really know. I mean, it's nothing really to say other than, once again, do what make you happy. Do whatever you feel you need to do to have a good mood. Like, if that, if that means go outside and smoke to get your mind off from things... Go do that. I don't mean. See, I'm not a smoking type of girl. I go get a piece of chocolate. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> See, it's like me, I'm not like me. It's not mandatory that I smoke, but when I'm stressed or like when I need to get my mind off some stuff, and I know I have like weed marijuana, I will go and smoke to you know what I'm saying. Get my mind off stuff. No, I don't smoke around her. Let's just put that out there. I don't smoke around her. I don't smoke with her. Just to let y'all know that. Next, how do we feel about making new friends? First of all, I'm gonna put it like this: everybody ain't your friend. As much as y'all keep banging, oh, I have friends, I got this friend, this friend, this friend. We, let's see how, let's see how it is when you're talking walk across that stage. How many of your friends going to walk across that stage with you? <laughs> like she said, everybody <laughs> is natural friend. Y'all, I started off school with like six friends. Y'all, I swear to God, I only got one. That's her one too. <laughs> everybody <laughs> is natural friend. Say and, that oh. one more time. Everybody is, is not, not your, your friend. friend. Like, y'all, y'all be getting close with the oddest people just because of what they wear, what they have, who they hang around. Y'all, I don't, don't care who they is hanging around. I don't if she hanging around a dickhead, ooh, if she hanging around somebody that I do not like, I'm not hanging around them. I don't care. Mm -hmm. It's just me. If it's something that I know, like, if she hanging around somebody that I know stuff about, I'm going to at least give her a hint, like, hey, I heard this, this, and this, so keep a luck out. Right. Especially if they're a thief or they be like, yeah, I heard she be doing this or he be doing that. I'm going to give her a hint so she can be aware. So don't be kind of, oh, well, you knew, so why you ain't tell me? Because that's, mm -mm, like I just that. say hang around. I just say hang around people that want elevate you yeah. don't hang that's around nobody you, that's below you hang around people that's going to make you become a better person than what you already are that's going to be there like not hating you that's going to be there when you, you know what i'm saying we have exactly. your downfalls through everything through thick and thin hang around them kind of people not people that's going to hate on you secretly hate on you secretly trying to take somebody you're dealing with or secretly trying to exactly st stab you in the back or backdoor you or nothing like that because mm -hmm. to, in today's society 
Oh, we got a bunch of them. They just, we got a bunch of two faced people. They just talk watch about you and they, come face. they talk about you behind your back, but then they, oh, hey, uh, keep, keep, keep. No, 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 no. Right. I met a couple of those. Oh, mm. I know a couple of those. <laughs> don't get us like okay. How do we feel about drama? Dumb. Stay away from it. It's childish. It's real. What are you? And like, first of all, drama comes from people not minding their business, running their mouth, and acting like kids. And sticking their nose to something that had nothing to do with them. Keyword. This situation, mm. my, <laughs> I just had to put that up there. Mind your business. Mind like, the business that pays you. Mind your business. You're not getting nowhere with your not minding. Your You're not business. making no money for minding my business. Right. <laughs> mind your business, and then not only mind your business. If you mind your business, matter of fact, just mind your business. Literally, there's nothing else for it. Mind right. Your mind business. your business. That's it. Mind, mind your business, business, and you won't have been no drama. Point blank. Mind your business, mind your and I'm gonna keep saying it. Mind your business. Mind, mind your, your business. Business. <laughs> business that pays you. Exactly. Next. Next. How do we feel about college? It's not a must. It's not mandatory that you go to college. Now, if this is a family religion or something like that, then okay, cool. That's a religion. No, but most people are like, oh, well, all of my family went the, went the class, so you're going to go to. Right, okay. I know yeah. a lot of people. A tradition, like, yeah, girl. Tradition. Like, <laughs> that, oh, this is bad. This is y'all. Stay in school, kids. That's funny. My mom was just somewhere else. <laughs> that, was just fun. that was just funny, y'all. But, no, for real. It's not a must that you go to college. You don't have to go to college. If you want to go, you can. But just know college is not cheap. College ain't free. College is not one of those. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go there for free. And I'm going to go to one class. No, baby, you got a lot of classes. It's a lot of work that come with that. Listen, all I'm going to say is, if you don't want to go, you don't have to go. I Point say college, and, college is an experience, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's really up to you. If you know that you're not for school, school is not for you, then don't go. Don't go. It's a waste don't of waste money. Don't waste your money. Exactly. But if you feel like you, like, okay, so I want to be a travel pediatrician. So I have to go to school. I, it's not like I can't go to school. Right, you, you know, to I would, so, I'm going to do nursing, so I got to go to school. Right. Too. That's what I'm saying. So I have to go to school. But if you're not, like, if you have a job, like, you want to work at McDonald's, you don't, you don't have mean, to go to as school. As long as you're not a rewrite account, you're going right. you to qualify for that job. Don't right. Look at that one. All right, next question. That's oh, funny. tips on bettering yourself. I have, have good hygiene. Oh, tips on bettering yourself. Um, stay away from people that does not benefit you, like I already done said. Um, do stuff that make you happy, as in like get your hair done, get your nails done. Mm -hmm. Um, always love your love yourself first before you love others. Go oh, out, yes. go out, go outside. Spend money on yourself. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. be a city girl. Go outside. Go shopping. Do what you love. Go get it. <laughs> Go have a me day. Go have a, you know, like, go out to dinner. Go out to brunch or whatever. Like, go on the, take yourself out on a date. Literally. Literally. Um, make yourself happy. Do Pretty something much. to make you happy. Don't worry about everybody else. Nope. Have a date to yourself, literally. Yeah. That's really all I can say about that. Yep. Uh, next question. Well, second to last question, actually. What are some red flags of people? Liars. Sorry, I just had to build it up <laughs> Liars, manipulators, manipulators. two-faced Keep... people. Oh my god, so annoying. You wanna know some more, y'all? Hold up. Hold up. Let me cook. Let me cook. Hold up. Y'all start to go. Come on. Y'all, people that cannot take accountability. That's yes. oh my god. People that um talk too much. People that's nosy. People that there's um, always just somebody that's a bit nosy wants to be. People, yeah, like she said, people that's two-faced. People that, like, I feel like it's a lot of red flags and different people. Mm -hmm. But I feel like sometimes red flags make people, I feel like nobody's perfect. But it's a lot of flags that, you okay? Ooh. It's a lot of red flags that you have to look out for, like, lying. Lying is really crazy. Like, I don't know, people lie a lot. They and, lie about the dumbest stuff, literally. And it's so annoying. And I hate it. Oh my god people lie and it's so stupid and it's really dumb but it's okay y'all just just be calm tell them bye next yeah. last question how do we react to haters and negative comments i don't really let it affect me honestly like i get negative comments and mean like stuff said to me all day because i got a child and i'm still in school but i don't let it affect me i don't let it affect who the person i'm trying to become i don't let it phase me for the simple fact that one i gotta raise her by myself so Honestly, I just push it off and just whatever you talk about, you talk about me. It is what it is. Honestly, Look, I can really kill us. Honestly, you're gonna be nobody without haters. You're gonna be nothing without a negative comment. If so, you get good comments every single day and you get positive things said to you every day, you're gonna be cocky. You're gonna be arrogant, and you're gonna just be 
above yourself. Like, you're going to be too much. Yeah. So, I feel like you need something bad said about you to level you. Like, yeah, to kind of make you, okay, well, I know I can work on this in this but then right. i also not doing good in this section right because nobody's perfect like i feel like you need something bad set around like, it's you, some, right? it's something about everybody that's not bad that's not good right rather it's your rather it's lying or cheating or whatever it could be anything it could be how you dress or how you look or whatever it's something about you right i just feel like you need it. It's, yeah, for you're sure. Gonna need you're gonna need it so you can kind of level level you out in a sense. So you don't feel like, oh well, yeah, I'm that girl. Well, really, you're not that girl. You're not that girl. You're not that. Get girl. yourself together. You're mm, not that girl. You're, not. you're low class. You're a low class bottom eating. Ooh. All right, y'all. So that's the end of this video. I hope y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Mm. This is part one. Part two will be on Nay channel. And I'm going to put her YouTube channel in the description down below. And I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.